Hi again, thanks uh, for dropping by. Um, so we're looking at James, we're looking at James chapter 2, and yesterday in verse 1 we talked about not showing favouritism. And now from verse 2, um, for covering two or three verses, there's a whole section that kind of um, opens that up a little more. Suppose a man comes into your meeting wearing a gold ring and fine clothes, and a poor man in filthy old clothes also comes in. If you show special attention to the man wearing fine clothes and say, here is a good seat for you, but say to the poor man, you stand over there or sit on the floor by my feet. Have you not discriminated among yourselves and become judges with evil thoughts? Before entering into ministry, I was a bank manager. And in that profession and in that context, I met a number of people whose uh, true um, financial wealth often took people by surprise. Perhaps they uh, were dressed very smartly, immaculately. They, they put on the airs of somebody who was very wealthy, but actually I knew that they were heavily in debt. Conversely, there were others who were really quite scruffy, um, quite untidy. Um, but who had amassed um, a significant fortune. It's difficult it, it, to, to, judge, to judge a book by its cover, as we say. It's, it's difficult, isn't it, to get right the, uh, the initial assessment that we make with a fir first impression. But it's important that we don't allow that first impression to colour our, our willingness to show um, love and welcome uh, and favoritism perhaps, but in an equal way to everybody. We don't know the circumstances uh, between the two people that James is talking about here, the man with a gold ring and fine clothes, or the, the, the untidy and scruffy and shabby um, poor man who's coming in. We don't know their situation, and actually it's relatively easy, it's all too easy for somebody who um, appears to be quite wealthy to plummet into poverty fairly quickly um, in our day and age. The point is clear, the point is the same as, as we were making yesterday, that we're not to show favouritism. We're not to judge people by how they look, we're to get to know them, sorry, we're to get to know them, get to understand them, get to love them, because again, they're both people that God loves, and our task as his followers is to show equality and equal welcome to everybody who comes into our meeting or into our presence. So let us not be discriminatory. Let us not judge, uh, become judges with evil thoughts. But let's be fair and genuine with everybody that we meet. And again, show them the love and welcome of Jesus. And let's pray. Uh, Lord God, uh, Today or over the next 24 hours, we will come across a lot of people between us. And I pray that you help us not to be judgmental. I pray that you help us to be welcoming and warm towards all who we meet uh, in an equal fashion. Help us not to be so kind of, uh, I don't know, misty eyed over trappings of wealth that we forget the real person underneath. And uh, enable us, Lord, to be a loving people. Amen. God bless you. Uh, I wish you well with that and um, be praying for you. Take care.